register. Well, there are four days left in the month of August, and that means summer vacation or vacation, vacation. Yeah, it's nearly over, and there's a great deal from fur, for furry friends at Humane Ohio that's going to be expiring as well. Laura Simmons Wark has someone with her waiting for a forever home. This is Feathers, is that right? Yes, this is Little Feathers, and she is only nine weeks old. Aww. I know the light makes it kind of tricky, but she is the cutest, cutest little thing ever. And she is so shy, but she has been coming out of her shell like a champ, and now she's looking for a forever home. Yeah, so she we need a family. Really and you've got, uh, you've got the program uh, running until the end of the month, so clock's ticking if people want to get a good deal. Yeah, we sure do. So we have our adoption special running. It's our summer vacation adoption special. It's running through the end of August. It's $25 off all cats and kittens. We had really generous funding thanks to the Pet a Finder Foundation that helped us cover that reduced adoption fee. And now Humane Ohio, we're helping to chip in on the, the last few adoptions. So we have been having a great month so far. Lots of cats and kittens are getting adopted. And as always, you know, if you are looking to adopt, there is an animal waiting for you mm -hmm. either at Humane Ohio or maybe you're looking for a dog. There's so many agencies in this area that have amazing dogs looking for homes. So have you found that maybe over the, the pandemic, the course of people being at home, have you found that adoptions have gone up or down or have they kind of been the same? Yeah, we, we're actually kind of about the same as we were last year as far as adoptions, um, but we have kind of seen a little bit of an uptick right now. And I'm wondering if it's because, you know, kids are maybe going to be staying home um, this fall or could be, and they need a little little furry little helper there at home. <laughs> or maybe, or people are working from home and they need a new, is it a CEO, a cat executive officer? <laughs> I don't know. At, at their house. So it's a great time to adopt. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I feel like, you know, all, all these little guys, they just need a chance. They really just need to get oh. into a home. This kitten actually came from a feral situation. So um, her mom and her other litter mates were, were feral and we were able to help a lady out um, and, and get these little kittens fixed. And now they've become socialized and now they just need that home. And she is just so, so tiny and so cute. Feather <laughs> says, I promise I'll help you with your homework, kids. Exactly. I yeah, promise. Like, can't take the cat eat your homework. I mean, maybe you could. But. <laughs> yeah, there's that too, right? So um, speaking of cats, and you've got a lot. And speaking of feral cats especially, you have the TNR program, Trap, Neuter, Return. And you said it has been wildly busy for you guys this week. It sure has. So we have been taking in trapped cats. So those are in those humane live traps on Wednesdays and Fridays. Um, and this past Wednesday, so as yesterday, we got in 94 cats in traps. So holy smokes, we have such an amazing <laughs> community of people that want to help these cats. Um, it, it, it is a little bit of a challenge for us to be able to do the surgeries and fit everybody in our building here, which we are going to be moving in a couple months. So that's exciting. Um, but for the time being, it can be a little challenging. So well, I, we want everybody to watch our Facebook page. We're going to put some information about um, trapping cats. And we are going to be changing the days that that is going to happen if you want to bring in those trapped cats. Starting September, it's going to change to Mondays and Wednesdays instead of the Wednesdays and Fridays. So okay. stay tuned to our Facebook page as well as our website, humaneohio.org, for all the changes that might be happening. So people are maybe becoming more aware, right, that, hey, we've got all of these neighborhood, neighborhood cats, and, and now we've got a lot more of these neighborhood cats. <laughs> uh, I know. So how do we control that, right? Exactly, and it might be maybe that people are home a little bit more, or have the time to do this trapping, or maybe just home more that they're actually looking, you know, out the window and being like, oh, hey, we had one cat, and now there's seven, and, and how did this happen? So... It is great that people are wanting to do this and we are here to support them in any way possible. Um, and people can even rent a live trap from us. So again, all that information is gonna be on our Facebook page as well as our website. And if people have a dog or cat, um, maybe you know, not a community cat, but pet cat at home that you're looking to get fixed, we'd be happy to get you set up with an appointment. We are a little bit overbooked at the moment for this year, um, but we are, we're scheduling people in as best as we can. <laughs> and we've just had such a high number of, uh, of people needing to get their animals in. So and people being responsible though, you gotta love that. And we'll be excited uh, for you guys to get there into your new building in a couple of months. And in the meantime, if you are interested in feathers, <laughs> uh, check out again, the Facebook page, the website, uh, adopt her and take advantage of the $25 off that adoption fee for the next few days through the end of the month.
Laura, thanks Absolutely. so much. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, feathers. <laughs> so cute. Need some ideas for fun?